Good morning. Welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It's Monday and I have so many exciting reading plans for this week. Oh, who is she? So let's just get into the books that I plan to read and the challenges for the newts that they will complete. Let me get out my handy dandy notebook. Okay, I just realized how much is on my TBR for this week and send help. <laughs> it's okay, we're just gonna try our best. So I was planning on listening to the rest of Great Expectations this week, but I decided to DNF it last week because I really was not enjoying it. So I have a couple of options for audiobooks. So I could listen to Love From A To Z by S.K. Ali or Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey, or I could start The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, which I just got off of Audible last night. But yeah, all of them could contribute to challenges, but they're not challenges that I'm like set on definitely completing. This is is to get an acceptable in muggle studies which I don't need for my career or anything. Same with this, this is for acceptable in potions and Hero of Ages is for acceptable in herbology so I'm gonna listen to them anyway probably <laughs> because I always like to have an audiobook going but I just have to choose. But the book that I'm currently reading is A Wilder Girls by Rory Power. I am almost halfway through this and I am loving it so much. Also, I'm sorry if Luna is rocking the bed, but this is to get an acceptable in Ancient Runes uh, because the prompt is to read a book recommended by a friend. This was recommended to me by Kara. And yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. I really want to finish this today. I was supposed to finish it last week, but you know, fell asleep last night. What's new? Then we have my reread of the first Harry Potter book and I'm going to be annotating this. I am so excited. So I'm going to be annotating this one like normal and then for this one I'm just going to be like annotating the Hufflepuff related things in the book. So that's going to happen and this is to get an acceptable in Defense Against the Dark Arts which is to read a book with uh, Black Under the Dust Jacket which this one is Black Under the Dust Jacket and I need to read that for my librarian career so that's what I'm sort of prioritizing this week. This is for my librarian career as well. Same with this next book. This is What Happens Now by Sophia Money Coots. And this was sent to me by Harper Collins. And this comes out this month. It's a review book of an adult romance book about a woman who gets pregnant from a one night stand. This is for to get an exceeds expectations in ancient runes which is to read a book written in past tense so that's also for my librarian career and then this next book uh which is also for my librarian career is the magnolia sword a ballad of milan by sherry thomas i was sent this by alan and unwin this one comes out in australia in november but in the us it comes out in september and this is to get an exceeds expectations in defense against the dark arts which is to pick the first book you remembered just now from your TBR. So that was what I remembered when I watched the TBR video. And then I also have Avatar uh, Imbalance Part 1 out from my library and the second part is probably coming this week. So um, I'll probably just fit these in somewhere. These aren't counting towards any of my challenges but I just really want to read them. So listen, we've got uh, a lot. <laughs> we've got these plus the audiobook. So Here's my plan. We're gonna listen to one of these just on my commute to and from work and when I'm doing stuff around the house. I'm gonna try and finish the rest of this today. And then for the other books, I'm just gonna try and read a section of each of them every day for the next seven days so that by Sunday I will have finished all of them. So for Magnolia Sword, I want to read the first 50 pages. For What Happens Now, I wanna read the first 54 pages. And for Harry Potter, I wanna read the first 45 pages. So I think that's doable uh, because especially today I'm only working in the afternoon and I finish at 5 30 so we have time to get reading done and I also have to finish editing last week's vlog but I only have to add in the finishing touches so I have hope that we can get all of this reading done. So I think right now um I think I'm going to start Harry Potter because I am just so excited. Hello, we're back with this terrible angle that nobody asked for. But I have stuff to update you on. It is now 1.30, so I have to start getting ready for work soon. But I read and annotated the first chapter of Harry Potter and I think I'm going to just do a chapter a day because it takes a lot of time, especially because I'm creating this Word document that's basically a master list of all things Harry Potter. So I have like characters, uh, creatures, magical objects, just everything you can think of, I'm writing it down. So that's taking a lot of time, so I'm just going to do a chapter a day. But like... <laughs> 
um, emo. So I read that and then I read my first section of what happens now and this is freaking hilarious. So there were a couple of questionable uh, comments where she's taking a pregnancy test and she doesn't want to be pregnant. So she's saying, I'd move to somewhere in the Far East, become a Buddhist and renounce all physical desires. I'd convert to asexualism. I, is that offensive? I feel like that's... Mm. Anyways, um, apart from that, the sex scene that I read was so funny this has very like british humor um so yeah i'm enjoying it it's funny it's not gonna be the best thing in the world but yeah so that's all i've read um i still need to read my section of the magnolia sword and hopefully finish wilder girls today but i just got a package in the mail <laughs> so we're gonna open it this has to be a gift because i didn't order anything for myself so we're gonna open it. Okay, let's see if there's a note. It's a hardcover. Okay, I don't think there's a note, but I do know who this is from. This is from Chris, who reached out to me on Twitter. So thank you so much, oh my God. Because this is the hardcover of A Game of Thrones. <sighs> I have been really wanting this because I really want to reread and annotate it and then read the rest of the series. <sighs> I literally just don't know what to say right now. I'm so excited. Thank you so, so, so much. I cannot wait, oh my goodness. So that's my update for now. I have to leave for work in 50 minutes. So I'm gonna try and read the first section of this before I leave and then I'm gonna leave and I'll take Wilder Girls with me. Probably won't get much reading done, but I'll also need to listen to an audiobook on my way. I think I'll read Love from A to Z. But anyways, I'll tell you guys what I end up reading later. Hello, it's me again, like two seconds later. <laughs> but I just got another package in the mail. I think this is more gifts. I mean, will my birthday ever end? Apparently not. The blessings. <laughs> so let's open this. Okay, we're just gonna pick. These ones don't have notes, so we're just gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. Oh, I'm so happy right now. This is a graphic novel. I have a feeling this package is from Whitney because she loves this. I don't know. I'll text her and I'll find out. So this is all about this prince who sometimes likes to wear dresses and his best friend, the dressmaker. Oh my gosh, I've just heard so many good things about this. I can't believe I have it, oh my god. And then there's one more book in here. <sighs> oh my goodness. I think this is definitely from Whitney. This is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. Um, her latest book, Sorcery of Thorns, is one of my favorite books of the year. It is Whitney's favorite book of the year. If these aren't from Whitney, I'm going to be so embarrassed. So yeah, this is her first book that I have not read yet. And this one is all about Faye. Oh, it's so pretty underneath. Oh, mm, feelings. So if this is from Whitney, I love you so much. If this isn't from Whitney, I still love you so much, whoever got these for me. I am like overwhelmed with love right now. Hello. It's me, back at it again in the sloth pajamas and the new Hufflepuff scarf. But I just got a very exciting package. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, this is going to be a BTS unboxing. So if you don't care about BTS, then I'll leave a timestamp and you can skip this section. But um, over the past few years, I told myself, April, you don't need to collect all the BTS albums. It's just gonna cost a bunch of money. And so uh, over the past, what, two and a half? years i've only bought two bts albums and uh recently i caved and i bought more anyway i'll show you the two that i already have so i have school love affair and i bought this in person and it didn't have wrapping or anything on it so it didn't have any photo cards in it which i'm really upset about it does have these adorable stickers in it though and then i also own love yourself tia version u and <laughs> melanie's gonna cry when I show the photo card <laughs> but it is a sleepy Jimin <laughs> but I love this photo card so much it is the cutest but um after I was watching Jane's BTS 
vlog the other day and her whole setup made me just immediately go and buy more albums because <laughs> I want a setup just like hers because BTS has helped me through so much. So basically I bought four albums, well I bought two in two different editions and they are two of my favourite albums and I bought these basically as like a birthday present to myself because I'm trash. So we're gonna unbox them and hope we get the photo cards because he's my bias. So I got both the night and day versions of Young Forever. <sighs> I love this album so freaking much. And then I got both versions of You Never Walk Alone. So yeah, let's begin. Happy birthday to me. So here's the night version. We have the CDs. We have a poster. And we have the book. Okay freaking out a little bit okay who we got is that oh my god it is jungkook oh my goodness <laughs> look at them oh my god oh my god <laughs> okay let's open this one now okay we have the cds the poster and the book i love this color scheme oh my god I got it again. Excuse me, sir. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. Melanie. <laughs> on the back, he wrote, I love army. Bless. I love pink haired Jimin. And V with a bandana kills me. <laughs> okay, last one. Oh, it's RM. Hey, Chloe. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so we got two JKs, one Jimin, one RM, no Vs. I, I cry, but it's okay. Hello, Oscar. I'm so happy right now. Hello. Okay, this update is going to have to be quick because I really have to get ready for work. I just got a package. It's from Amazon, which means it's from my wish list, which means I'm still getting birthday presents and I'm still shocked. <laughs> ah, let's open it. Okay, we're going to feel for a note. I feel a receipt. There is no note. Oh no. But oh my gosh, I've wanted this book for so long. This is A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGuinness. This is a historical fiction, which is like my fave. And it follows this girl called Grace, who is in an insane asylum. But uh, things might not be what they seem. Apparently it's like a twisted historical thriller. Oh my gosh, look at that spine. What the heck? This book is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So if you sent this to me, uh, please let me know so I can thank you properly because that is so, so kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, I gotta go to work now. Hello. It's me again with this terrible angle. So I realized that yesterday I updated you on everything except my reading. So um, yesterday I didn't read my chapter of Harry Potter. I didn't read my section of the Magnolia Sword and I didn't read my section of what happens now. But I did read the last 60% of Wilder Girls. So I read like a lot of this. And I am shook, shaken and stirred, as Livia Reed the Latte would say. Um, because I gave this five stars. I think it was perfection. I don't think the ending was super abrupt. I think it was a beautiful ending. And yes, I would absolutely love a sequel because obviously I want to know what happens. I think it, it ended in a very nice and like metaphorical way. I don't know. I really enjoyed this. I loved the whole vibe, the whole tone of it. I loved the whole survival thing. I loved the boarding school aspect. I just adored it. I really, really adored it. So I gave it five stars. I'm shocked, honestly. And I'm also quite a ways into Love from A to Z, just from listening to the audiobook. Uh, that's where I am. I'm almost 200 pages in, and I think this is going to be a five star book as well. This is phenomenal. It is really hitting me hard and making me feel a lot of emotions, a lot of anger, a lot of sadness, but it's also putting a smile on my face at the same time. I'm just really, 
thoroughly enjoying this book. It is so good. And apart from that, I got another package today. And it's a big package. And I think this is from Chelsea. From Chelsea Dolling Reads, who is one of my favourite people on the entire planet. She's been there for me through thick and thin. And I am just so, so glad to call her one of my best friends. But she was really naughty. And bought me too many things from the looks of this package so if you're not subscribed to Chelsea I don't know what you're doing she is doing amazing things on booktube and it brings me so much happiness just to see her channel grow and just to see the amazing things that she's accomplished and I'm getting sappy now but I just love her so much okay let's open this okay looking for a note looking for it oh, there is a note <laughs> oh my gosh there's three notes oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm so emo right now she wrote me the sweetest message <laughs> Josie! okay so she said um that all of these books were five stars for her so hopefully i will enjoy them too i think they're all hardcovers you are so naughty chelsea okay the first <laughs> The first one is Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno. This is one of her all-time favorite books. And Katrina Leno is one of her favorite authors. This is like a contemporary with like slight magical elements. Uh, it's set on an island and I believe it has a female-female relationship in it. And I think it involves witches. Yes, magic passed down through the generations. I am so excited to read this. I have really wanted to read it ever since she started raving about it. So I'm so excited to own this. Thank you so much. <laughs> my heart. And then, oh my god, the next book is Dress Codes for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens. Oh my gosh, I have wanted this for so long. This is uh, Lala from Books and Lala. It's her favorite book of all time. And I've just heard phenomenal things about this as well. Oh, I forgot to check under the dust jackets. I like to check what they look like underneath. Okay, this one is just a plain and this one is white. But this centers around a really tight-knit group of friends, I believe. And I think the main character is sort of figuring out who she is and figuring out her sexuality and everything. I think she's like in love with all of her friends. <laughs> so, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. And the last book in here, oh my gosh, this book is so beautiful in person. This is Autobiography by Christina Lauren. Christina Lauren, they are some of my favorite authors. And this is a YA book about two boys who fall in love, but one of them is a Mormon and they live in a very, like, Republican town. And I believe it also focuses on writing. So that's exciting. This cover is absolutely stunning. Oh, I love when books do this two-tone thing. I love that. Oh my goodness. I am not deserving, honestly. Thank you so much, Chels. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what did I do to deserve these friends, honestly? And now it's time to show you the seven books that I just borrowed out from the library. <sighs> Somebody come and punch me in the face because I don't need any books out from the library. <sighs> Okay, anyways, oh, also I'm wearing my BTS shirt because tonight um, I'm going to the BTS movie that's coming out. It's like only on today in theaters and I'm so excited. But anyway, library books. <laughs> so I got out the Paper and Heart Society by Lucy Powery. She is a booktuber from the UK and I believe this is all about like a book club. Just listen to this synopsis. If this isn't all of us on booktube. <laughs> Tabby Brown is tired of trying to fit in. She doesn't want to go to parties. Me. In fact, she would much rather snuggle up on the sofa with her favourite book. Me. It's like she hasn't found her people. Then Tabby joins a club that promises to celebrate books. What could go wrong? Everything, especially when making new friends sparks an awkward buzzing feeling all over her body. But Olivia, Cassie, Henry and Ed have something that makes Tabby come back. Maybe it's the Austin-themed fancy dress parties, or Ed's fluffy cat Mrs. Simpkins, or even Henry himself. Can Tabby let her weird out and live the best bookish life possible? 
enough said. Then, speaking of Katrina Leno, I found You Must Not Miss at the Library, which is her most recent release. I've heard it's really dark. Um, I don't know what this is about at all. I've just heard it's kind of weird and dark. So I just want to check it out. Then I got A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Kluwes. This is one that I've got out of, um, out of the library a couple of times. Just whenever I see it there, I can't resist because I really want to read it. I just never have the time to actually get it read um, because this is a historical YA fantasy, which is one of my favorite genres. It's all about demons and monsters and pow having powers, royal sorcerers. I have a need. Then we have Famous in a Small Town by Emma Mills. I have a couple of Emma Mills books that I haven't read yet, but I just want to read all of her books. I haven't heard the best things about this book in particular, but oh, I just have no control when I go to the library, honestly. Then we have The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. This was really popular a few months ago. It has pink sprayed edges, so I got it. No control. I have An Affair of Poisons by Addie Thorley. This was one it's like a new release that I was really intrigued by. Just listen to this. After unwittingly helping her mother poison King Louis XIV, 17-year-old alchemist Mirabelle is forced to see her mother's shadow society in a horrifying new light. It says she's a deadly poisoner, he's a bastard prince. They are sworn enemies, yet they form a tenuous pact to unite the commoners and form a nobility against the shadow society. <laughs> it just sounds right up my alley. Again, historical fantasy. I love it. And the last book I got is 96 Words for Love by Rachel Roy and Ava Dash. I just saw that this was one of the James Patterson Presents books and I don't know why. I just I just look at this beautiful cover. This is a modern retelling of a star-crossed love from Indian mythology. So I just thought that was really cool. It's blurred by Kim Kardashian West. What the heck? Yeah, it just looks really cute. So I picked it up. There is my ridiculous library haul that I did not need. So, um, I, it is now like midday. I went to work this morning and now it's time to catch up on all of my reading. So I have two chapters of Harry Potter to read and about like a hundred pages of the other two books I'm reading. So I'm gonna get those read now. And then tonight I'm gonna go to the BTS movie. I'm so excited. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys soon. Hello. It's me again. <laughs> so I just finished reading a section of What Happens Now. I'm really enjoying this. It's really funny. It is a little bit problematic with the humor and everything and just some of the wording, but it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm on page 131. So I would like to get another section read of this today. Then I will have caught up because I didn't read, it, read any of it yesterday. And I'm currently in the middle of annotating the second chapter of Harry Potter, but I just got two packages in the mail, so it's time to do an unboxing. So we have one from Book Depository and judging from like the shape and size of it, uh, I think this is a book I ordered myself. And then I have a package from Amazon. It doesn't really feel like a book though. So I'm not sure what this is. Let's start with this because I'm very curious as to what is in here. What on earth? It's not for me. I'm so dumb. I just assumed it was for me and I didn't even read the label. It's not even for me. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to open this one now. This is uh, the unofficial Ultimate Harry Potter Spells book. I mainly got this uh, for the kids at work um, because I have a few like Harry Potter obsessed kids and we often have wizard jewels and everything and I think they would just absolutely love this. So yeah, I picked it up, but you know, also it was an excuse to buy it from that collection. But yeah, here's a little sneak peek of what it looks like inside and this is Really, really cool. It's also really pretty. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, it's time to keep a reading. <laughs> Hello. It's Thursday. Uh, I just got home from my morning shift, but last night I found something really exciting on Twitter. And that is that, oh, I can't remember what their Twitter handle is, but they have created a BTS themed readathon that's happening from August 20th to September 20th. And there's prompts and... <laughs> I'm so freaking excited, but she also made 
bookmarks that you can print out and make. So we're gonna do a little DIY project today. And by the way, I will leave um, all the information um, in the description. Um, it's called Readathon of the Soul. So I'm just gonna show you the stunning. Hang on, let me let me adjust this lighting so you can see this better. Look at these. Holy moly. Because one of the prompts is to read a book with your bias. So you print out the bookmark and put it in the book that you're currently reading. And then, because I am extra, I'm going to add my own twist on it and add a quote on the back of the bookmarks that has been either said or sung by that person. So for Jin, I put um, lyrics to Epiphany. I put, I'm the one I should love in this world. Shining me, precious soul of mine. I finally realized, so I love me. Not so perfect, but so beautiful. For RM, I put, even light is treasured more when there's darkness. For Sugar, I put, it's not easy, but engrave it onto your chest, which is a lyric from Nevermind. For J-Hope, I put, failure is the mother of success mother which is from mama from my bias v um i put forget what hurt you but never forget what it taught you we stand for jimin i put um a lyric from microcosmos starlight that shines brighter than the darkest night and for jungkook i put all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them so iconic and i printed them in like fancy calligraphy so i'm gonna cut them out and put them on the backs of the bookmarks <sighs> we're gonna hope that we do this correctly i printed out two copies so that if i stuff one up it's okay but i was planning on giving the other copy to my housemate because she is also bts trash we watched um the movie bring the soul last night <sighs> it was so good i didn't want it to end it was so beautiful her bias is j-hope so I'm going to just make these bookmarks and then I'm going to laminate them and then we will each have a set of our own BTS bookmarks. Mm. So while I do that, I'm going to finish listening to the audiobook of Love from A to Z because I am almost done with it. It is so good. Like, oh my gosh, it is such a beautiful book so i'm gonna finish listening to that while i make these and then if i finish listening to that and i'm still making these then i'll just listen to bts and then after that i guess i'll update you on what else i've been reading which hasn't been much <laughs> i have some catching up to do so let's get started and hope we don't mess this up <laughs>
later. I have to leave for work again in a little bit. But I just got another package from Amazon. I can't believe I'm still getting presents for my birthday. I love you all so much. Okay, let's open it. And I definitely checked that it's addressed to me, so that's a start. <laughs> okay, let's feel for a note. <gasps> okay, this is from Stephanie. Thank you so, so much. Oh my goodness. But it feels like a thick boy. So... My goodness this is the collector's edition of a gathering of shadows i have the collector's edition of a darker shade of magic and i read it last year and really enjoyed it and i really need to continue on with the series <gasps> oh my gosh look at this artwork oh oh my goodness i am so excited has a ribbon bookmark and everything oh thank you so so much stephanie i don't know what to say i just i never know what to say okay i'm gonna go to work now and then when i get home i have a lot of reading to do because during shifts today i spent it making those bookmarks and then i edited all of the footage that I have for this vlog so far. But I did finish Love From A To Z, which was just incredible. Five stars, I'll talk about it more later. I feel like I need to talk more about the books that I'm actually reading and my thoughts on them. So I'll probably do that tomorrow morning because I am only working in the afternoon and I have to film videos in the morning. So I guess I'll see you then. Hello, so it is actually Sunday. I'm sorry I didn't vlog for the past couple of days. I was feeling a bit down in the dumps and I just didn't really feel like doing anything. So I didn't. Well, that's a lie. I did read some stuff. So we have stuff to catch up on, but it is now 5 p.m. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be finishing any more books tonight. I probably will like chip away at some but don't think I'll finish any so I decided to end the vlog here so I can get a head start on editing it. So first I have a little bit of a haul for you. So Lucas and I went out shopping today and he was like okay so you have options you can either buy four books because you deserve it or you can buy one expensive BTS album and one book and I decided to do one album one book because um Lucas and I we've been working really hard lately and so we just kind of treated ourselves today we went out and we had a really nice meal Lucas bought something for himself so I got the BTS world soundtrack I'm not gonna go too into this because I know not everyone likes BTS but I will show you I finally got a V photo card Finally, and I also got a J-Hope one, but I gave it to my housemate. It also came with like this magnet But I'm probably just gonna use it as a bookmark and it came with a beautiful poster and of course the book of stunning pictures and a CD But yeah, I'm just so happy to add this to my collection ah. And then book wise I knew exactly what book I wanted and that is the hero of ages by Brandon Sanderson I know I said I'm on a book buying ban this month that still stands but I was expecting to still be in the middle of The Well of Ascension, the second book, but I flew through that book so quickly. So I'm actually going to be starting this book tomorrow. I'm so excited. And I had points on my Dimmicks card, so instead of paying $23 for this, I paid $10. So it was really cheap. I needed it because I'm starting it tomorrow and because I just really need to know how this series ends because it's one of my new favorites and I'm obsessed. So look, I'm not mad about it. It's fine. So now let's move into the books that I've read this week. I've actually finished five books, which I'm really happy with. So first off this week, I finished Wilder Girls by Rory Power. I gave this five stars. This just combined so many elements that I love, like the survival aspect, the boarding school setting, the flawed characters, like it's just so good and that got me an acceptable in ancient runes which is to read a book recommended by a friend then i finished love from a to z by sk arley i also gave this five stars this was so 
beautiful and powerful and moving. Mm, it was so good. This got me an A in Muggle Studies, which is to read a book with a cover that features like an actual photo element. So there you go. Then I read Avatar The Last Airbender Imbalance Part 1 and I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. I changed up my newts a little bit for this and I put this as my book to get an exceeds expectations in charms which is to read a comic slash graphic novel slash a book under 150 pages i originally had memento down for this but instead i put memento for an exceeds expectations in divination which was to read a short story so i swapped them around a little bit but that's fine then i also read part two i also gave this four stars i think these are probably the weakest in the avatar comics but that by no means means that they're bad. I mean they're still fantastic. I just prefer like the really old Avatar stuff as opposed to the stuff that's starting to be like modernized and uh, tying into the Legend of Korra because that's not really my favorite. I prefer like the older stuff but I still really loved it. Gave it four stars and I put this for and exceeds expectations in Transfiguration which, to, which is to read a book that is not the first in a series. And then lastly, today I finished Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. Woo boy! So I read the first like 60% on audio and then I read the rest of it physically and I actually ended up really enjoying this. It does have its like questionable elements to it. Like at the beginning I, I it was just so unrealistic to me for this main character who hasn't seen her crush since middle school. He comes back to town, she goes to his house, like lets herself in and he's like hungover asleep and she throws food at him and calls him pathetic. Like, who does that? <laughs> and then the love interest was a very like manly man, like possessive kind of guy but he was only like that sometimes but that doesn't excuse the behavior so apart from a couple of things um i really enjoyed it i ended up giving it a very high rating despite those things i gave it a 4.5 stars because this was just so enjoyable top tier smart let me tell you this book is mm. and i just couldn't stop reading it like it was just so readable the ending did kind of annoy me a little bit like the the like little problem like the hump that they had to get over no pun intended <laughs> that kind of annoyed me but it ended out fine i don't know i really enjoyed it maybe i'll bump it down to a four i don't know I, it was fun and that was to get an acceptable in potions which was polyjuice potion read your friend's favorite book because this is like chelsea's new favorite romance book so there you go so i am really happy with my reading this week even though i didn't end up reading the books that I expected to which let's do an update on those. So for Harry Potter I have only read two chapters so that's what I'm planning on doing for the rest of the evening. I'm going to read the other five chapters that I intended on reading this week because I wanted to read a chapter a day. So I'm gonna do that. Then I made it to page 131 of What Happens Now. This is really fun so far and I could just like fly through this if I just really dedicated the time to it. So that'll probably happen early next week. And then the Magnolia Sword, I did not get far into it at all. I am 54 pages into this, but I am loving it. It's very different from like the Disney version of Mulan. It follows Mulan and her family and another family have this like centuries long tradition where every year they get together like for a duel and each family has their own like family sword and whoever wins the duel gets to keep the sword for a year. So for as long as she can remember she's been pretending to be her twin brother who passed away when they were babies. So pretty much everyone in her life apart from her family thinks she's a boy. So she's been training to fight this boy from the other family and every now and again they get together to do like a uh, training duel together and they have like this chemistry but they like hate each other and then the war happens and every family has to send an eligible male to fight so she goes off to fight and there's like this the captain of the war camp or whatever looks very familiar to her because uh, it might be the guy she's been fighting. I don't really know though, because every time they've fought, he's worn a mask, so she doesn't know what he looks like, but 
she thinks it might be him i don't know it's really really intriguing so far i'm really enjoying it so yeah i really do want to continue on with this so yeah these are priorities for next week <laughs> but yeah i think that's gonna be it for this week's reading vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon in a new one goodbye